Joining me now from New York City is Satijit Bose. He's a lecturer at Columbia University and associate director of the program in sustainability management. So Satijit, uh, let's begin with nuclear fusion energy, China's artificial sun. Could this really be the answer or a big answer in China's switch to clean energy? Certainly. Uh, nuclear fusion, uh, if it's uh, made scalable and viable, can truly uh, be a limitless source of energy for mankind. Uh, the difficulty right now is that to, in the experimental stage, it needs more energy than it actually produces. Uh, but there have been a number of advances, like the one that you just cited uh, at the Tokamak in uh, Anhui province, where 100 million degrees Celsius was achieved very recently. Now, we heard about the expense of nuclear fusion in our story. And when it comes to alternative and cleaner energy, it's all expensive. Is that the biggest roadblock? Uh, how do projects like these get financed? The, uh, I wouldn't say that all renewable energy is all expensive. Uh, indeed, actually, right now, renewable energy such as wind uh, and uh, solar the levelized cost of generating that electricity is about even with natural gas. The difficulty is in dealing with the intermittency. So you can't always tell the wind to blow or tell the sun to, um, to shine because there are uh, clouds that might occlude it. Uh, so dealing with that intermittency and mapping up with energy storage is what makes it more difficult. But it's not expensive. Winter heating season is arriving in China very soon. The country is already moving away from coal. That's its biggest goal there. What does the future look like when it comes to China's energy consumption across the country? Well, uh, you know, China is investing in renewable energy. It's been one of the largest investors in wind, uh, in solar, of course, in hydro. Uh, it's switching from coal to natural gas, which is cleaner than, than coal. Uh, so we would expect that in future, its ratio of GDP to uh, carbon emissions will go up. That is, its carbon emissions will go down uh, relative to its GDP growth. I want to get your take on what is happening in Spain as we speak. COP25 getting underway. What are the expectations, especially with some recent dire predictions about, the, about climate and climate change and the U.S. pulling out of the Paris Climate Accord? What will you be looking for these next few days? Uh, we're looking for continued uh, commitments to the Paris Agreement uh, from all countries concerned. Of course, not everyone is part of it. Uh, it is important to, uh, for the countries to stick to their NDCs, the uh, nationally determined contributions, uh, which have been determined by those governments, um, and to keep the momentum forward. Satijit Bose in New York, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you.